great day bouncing back from uh, an off day yesterday for our guys. Uh, really, really good practice, full pads. It's a good life goes. A lot of good competition back and forth. Came down to the final snap for competing offense versus defense, is what you, what you want. So, um, just a lot of great film to watch and get better. So, we love our effort. Our guys are really practicing hard and competing hard. And, and uh, each side hates to lose, which is what you want. That's the whole objective. So, I'm really proud of our guys right now. You've had a few days now with the uh, pads. Uh, any two or three takeaways as you head into the uh, scrimmage this weekend? You know, I just think that uh, when you put the pads on and go live, that's when the, the true playmakers step up. You know, on both sides, who can finish tackles. You know, when you're going with that tempo, you don't always know if the guy's going to be on the ground. I still don't know, don't know about the quarterbacks and where I was going to tackle those guys, but but uh, finishing plays on defense it shows up a lot. And like uh, some young guys like uh, Devon Matthews, really, really flashing. Been making a lot of plays. TD Ruff's really stepping up, making a lot of plays. The linebacker and uh, those guys kind of jump out at me. And I think uh, Nick Westbrook continues to make plays on offense. You know, Jason Harris as well. And I look at Rock. So you know, those three guys kind of jump out the most in the in the back end. And then you know, just today with watching uh, Morgan Allison run down there in the red zone, he's just a, he's big and strong. And he's fast. So uh, I'm really proud of his, his growth. You, you mentioned one of them there, but it seems like a lot of young guys kind of mixing in maybe. Second, third team defense. Are they performing in a way that makes you feel like they're going to give you the depth you need on that side of the ball? We're getting there. Yeah, that's exactly right. And I think the scrimmage will really help seal some of that. But we feel that we had a really good staff meeting yesterday, talking about personnel and, and using the first six practices as an evaluation to see who's really ready to be in those those uh, number two roles and three roles, which means they have a great shot of being in the game on the game day. So uh, you feel more comfortable with certain guys being in there right now. And then, but I think the scrimmage they'll all get reps in the scrimmage. So that gets probably the the most fair evaluation because it's over 100 snaps and a lot of live plays to really see who, who can finish in the game. I know as a defensive guy, I probably hate to within the offense, you know, has some success down there, but as a head coach, is it good to see your the red zone make us the plays and get well, the touchdowns? It is. I mean, that's the whole objective, you know, we had coming out of this past season. Uh, red zone defense had to do a better job of forcing field goals, and then the offense had to score touchdowns. And uh, that's what they did today down there. And uh, we obviously doing some things schematically to try and help with that. But at the same time, it's execution in those critical moments. It's making plays. We had several clutch catches right along the edge of the sideline. Um, the defense thought they should have been reviewed. You know, <laughs> there, There's no review in practice. That's why I make Coach Ballou the, uh, the final judge. Nobody misses with him. So, but, uh, they, uh, so, but that was great, though. You know, with those guys up making some really, really great catches. And, and, uh, but we got to score touchdowns down in their red zone, and that's been an emphasis, and it was great to see that today. What are you seeing from the place kickers so far? Yeah, you know, they. Uh, well, that's another thing. We're going to probably ramp it up tomorrow. We're trying to, I try and use different ways to pressure those guys, and, and uh, right now it's a pretty uh, balanced competition, you know, and I think we've got three guys that are there competing for field goals, and so, um, you know, Hayden's doing a great job with, with punts, but, uh, you know, we got um, Logan and, and uh, you know, Jared Smolar and then, uh, Campbell, you know, he's the guy that's all, all competing. And then none of them had a chance to really kick under pressure yet, you know, and just kick them with, all the, with their group. So we'll be able to apply that pressure here. We'll see. Thoughts on the quarterback race, uh, you know, a little over a weekend? To, you know, yeah, you know, I think that uh, right now, no decision has been made. It's still, you know, very competitive. You know, and once again, I think Sunday will be a, it'll be a, not the final decision maker, but a very big next step for us in our decision making process to see how, how they uh, operate. And, run the offense and move the football and score touchdowns and uh, handle adversity during the game situation. So we've obviously gotten glimpses of that throughout practice, but there's no question that uh, Sunday's scrimmage is going to be good for that. How'd you uh, come through this week health-wise? Yeah. yeah, pretty good. We've got a couple guys, which you usually do. You know, I don't think it's been anything um, you know, too devastating. I think we just got to manage it. You know, we've got guys in and out. They still have some in a few days, so I'm more than that. But, uh, a lot of those you, you don't know, but not, at this point, it doesn't seem to be anything super serious. You know, so we just got to keep at it. You still want to go live, and still got to get better and get, get a lot of physical practices. And so we're going to stay with that mindset. One guy you keep seeing stepping out here is Wap. Can you just yeah. talk about how he's playing? Wow, well, he's just a lot more confident. You know, than he was a year ago. He's faster. He just understands what he's doing. His hands are have always been really good. Uh, he just flashes. He can beat you deep. The thing that I've, I think really comes out to me is last year I thought he was really quick. And, uh, but this year he's gotten his speed has gotten better. So he's literally he can run away from people and more than he could last year. So he's a legit threat. You know, he get the ball in his hands and he's obviously on return units as well. So but, uh, dynamic player and uh, love his competitive spirit. And he's just he's a winner. And he has high expectations for himself and for this football team. No. The guys that are receivers obviously been Nick, but it looks like the third guy in there, at least today, Ty Fryfrog. Just what have you seen from him and the kind of progress he's made? Uh, 
I'm sorry about that. He, uh, I've challenged him. You know, he's a big body. He's a guy who came in here, and, and uh, we need him to step up. We really do. And so I, I've been pleased with this camp so far. And uh, he's gotten faster as well. Gotten, he just uh, he's learned the offense, so he's a lot more confident in his route running. And uh, just has to go up there and just go attack the football. And uh, he's doing more of that. And I know Coach Hurts hired him in his first you know, six practices and came back today and made some plays. So he just needs to continue. It's, that receiver core needs to, to grow and develop and rise up and, and uh, respond. Well, I think we're way ahead of where we were last year at this time as a group, but not where we want to be. You know, So there's a lot of hard work ahead of us there. And Coach Hurd, yeah, he's, he's very relentless on those guys. And so they will continue to improve. Well, one of the running backs on the sideline just casually said to me, he said, boy, it's really fun to run behind that offensive line. It's healthy now. Yeah. You know, talk about the offensive line. They are. They're big and they're stronger and they're just together, you know, and they were so, uh, you know, beat up last year and never, never got them themselves as a unit to work together. So, um, and that gives your backs confidence. You know, they get a good push. And, and uh, so we just got to, you know, it's big men lead the way and they're doing a good job.